Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus Puff laptop. This one is an Asus Puff FX505VY-WH51 model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can check, replace your fan or replace your laptop or do your own service. This client brought this one in because it was making a big huge noise on the fans and we're gonna open it up and see what's the cause of that. Now I don't have the charger for here. Let me get the charger. All right, let's connect. Let's connect it in and let's see what kind of noise it makes. I have a, I have a noise cancellation, so I don't know if it's gonna make it noise or no. It sounds like a jet engine or something in there, like scrambling eggs. So we're gonna open it up and see what's going on and how we can replace it and fix it. All right, let's go ahead and remove the fans. I'm gonna be using a screwdriver set, I fix it. We're gonna remove the bottom screws. There's a two missing screws, so that means somebody tried already to open it up. So remove all the screws at the bottom. This is a Phillips number one. So put them on the back. Grab the middle screw. That's the little shorter. The side screw, those are the long ones. The same as back ones and the front end of the laptop screw. These are the, again, the short screws. Also, if you guys like my video, if you want to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. All right, now what are we going to do? We're going to grab a guitar pick and we're going to stick it between the bottom cover and the uh, to palm rest. And what we want to do, once we're in there, we want, just want to wiggle around. So let me see if I can get one angle that you guys can see right there. Uh, we want to just twist it. And you want to hear this, see that gap opening. You want to work yourself all around. So work yourself, do all around. Okay. And I'm just going to use my finger to pull it back. And it just comes back really easy. And lift up the bottom case right there there we have it and i can see right away somebody tried to open this fan and do something with it so something is not right the fans are really wobbly what of them I don't know what's going on in here, but this fan has a hook underneath that goes to the other side. So we need to remove first the battery. To disconnect the battery, we're gonna pull this connector backward. And now we're gonna remove two screws for this fan on the right side and two screws on this side. You can replace the fan with a part number on the fan. That's the best choice. I still have to contact the Client to see if they want to replace it. Once we remove the screws for the fan, you want to disconnect the fan connector, pull them back, pull them back. There's a flex cable that goes for the, the you have to open the flex cable for the LCD, open up the lock, pull up the, pull back the flex cable, untangle, remove the 80 screws on the GPU and CPU. All right, once you remove that one, we want to grab it from the middle. Gently, we want to lift it up, bring it up. And we can see it's really clogged up on this side. Let's put this to one side. And we still got to clean up the thermal paste. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab a one sheet of the workshop towel. We're going to grab an alcohol, 99% isopropolic alcohol. And we're gonna rub this CPU whole bunch of thermal paste that is on top. They kind of mixed up the thermal paste, I'm guessing. Whole bunch in there. I'm gonna turn it inside out. You don't need to replace the thermal pads in here. These are thermal putty. 
If you get a thermal putty, I will leave the link in the video description. You can replace your thermal putty, don't put thermal pads on it. Otherwise, you're going to counter push the GPU or the heatsink. So, there we have it. That's the fan. Now, this fan is making lots of noise, so let's see what we can do. If you open it from this side, you're going to see this whole opening in there. I can see the fan is already gone. The fan is rubbing up. We could try to open it and clean it up, but we still need a chisel tool. Let's see. Let me grab this chisel tool. I'm gonna to put it right in my finger. We're gonna pop this top top plastics right in here, the rivets. Once we pop these rivets out, we can lift up this cover. And we can look at the fan. The fan is pressed in. And if we try to lift up this back side, there is no lock. Some fans do have a little lock system on the back. You can open and use it, but there's no lock system or anything on this side. So not a big lock. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a toothbrush to clean it up. And see it was it's like really really wobbly so this fan is out so is the other one so what I'm gonna do just I'm gonna clean it up and the toothbrush clean it up and we're gonna repaste and we're gonna put it back together and I'm gonna uh, make another video sometimes after once I get the new fan in so how you can replace it pretty much all you do is you put the fan in and put the heat sink on it's really easy fast and forward so we do have to replace these fans and i don't have them right at the moment so yeah i'll be back once after i finished cleaning all right i cleaned up the fan system with a toothbrush and everything like that so we're going to connect the fans again we're going to run the cable for the flex cable turn it over underneath open up the lock push it inward Lock it down. Same thing in here, just only plug in the fan connector. You wanna grab a workshop tab, you're gonna clean up the thermal paste of the CPU and GPU. You have to redo the thermal paste once you wanna replace the fan. Every time you pick up the heat sink, you need to reapply the thermal paste. So you must redo it every time. So once we cleaned it up, if you grab a thermal putty, you can put the thermal putty on top of this one. You can just clean it up with a plastic or uh, with an alcohol and put your own thermal putty in there. So for now, I'm just going to put the thermal paste on the GPU and on the CPU. Okay. You're going to grab the heat sink. You're going to bring it over. You're going to set it down straight and we're gonna put the four screws two screw on each fan and 80 screws for the heat sink all right now the last step would be to just grab the bottom cover, bring it over, and put it right on top, and squeeze it down. All right, so um, for the final touch, is just put the longer screws at the back and the sides, and the shorter screw is one in the middle and the front end of the uh, laptop again i hope you guys like this video and helped you out and if you have any questions or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video